On this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how I build my bean trellis. So over here in the corner of my yard, I've got, uh, these are one by one, two by two, something like that, two by two by eight feet long. So I need to Shizuki bond these, so they need to get burned. Alrighty, we got our Shizuki bond all done there. I'm glad the camera's battery lasted long enough. You can see that. Uh, now we need to go put these in the ground and start building our um, the base frame for our arbor. So it's time to build this arbor. I'm just gonna pound these posts into the ground and the idea is to use some eye hooks to attach to my house and then attach some lines, uh, some string, and then maybe tie some nylon between that and then my beans can grow up and over, which will give me sun protection in the summer. And yes, I'm using a metal can on top of the wooden post. That's to prevent it from splitting. Ideal if I had a post smacker tool, that would be better. Was that fun sitting in a plum tree? Okay, now I got you guys on this side. It's time to put in, I got three more of these and I'll have to see where I need to put them because I need to create like a full canopy of beans to cover all my windows because it gets too hot in summer. So the idea is now I tie some hooks all the way up to my roof here, or on the roof, and then tie some lines. And then I can also go from that corner to this one, and then this one to bridge that one. But I can still leave this open to get my wheelbarrow and stuff have access in there. So that's the plan, because I need to be able to cover all the windows with beans. And then I still have light going into my potato bin. And I'm actually going to create a solution to be able to drop the fabric down and then raise it up later. So as you can see, there's been a, a bit of progress since the last footage. I've got this basic frame all up now. I'm getting attacked by all sorts of bugs out here. Um, it was getting late and dark and also it was raining so I didn't film it. But you can see here I put up, um, I have these main posts and then I put the cross beams which is a few screws. And now the next step is to put the eye hooks up top and run the lines over to this side with the rope. And then I need to decide how I want to mesh this. I have. Um, uh, my uh, deer fencing like on the top above my fence I can put that here I just kind of really want to stay away from using plastic so I should have something to kind of gap this just so the vines when they climb up they're not just trying to reach otherwise they'll just start spiraling around this and they'll just climb vertical and they won't use this so I need to need to gap it with something So you can see the final result. I end up putting um, some vertical lines in between. I'll probably put more, but for now, that's what I have. And I ha end up putting, having put one more stake over here and it's all connected here. And then I just have all the eye hooks and numerous ropes all tied up here into this bird's nest. I have something like 17 different types of beans to plant. So I need a lot of space to do this. And I'll be planting corn in front of the beans as well. But uh, yeah, this will be enough room for this. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Why don't you check out this other video and until the next one, have a great day.